Welcome to the Sagara Stakes at Ascot, two miles, group three. So uh, let's have a look at the field. Sinatra, four to one. Then you can find eleven to one. Ortiel, one fifty. The favourite, eleven to four. Starbo Starboard Bound Funder, two miles. Missed the last two there, apologies. They sent on their way, two miles, just hesitated for a stride or two, and at the back in the early stages because of that jump. 150 in the early stages, right up there in the early vanguard. We can find Funder as well, two miles in the pink. And then we got Ortiz also up there. Then we got Starboard bound further back, and Looking Stella is going to be at the back at the 14 as they cross that first, that finish, li that finish line pole for the first time. Hopefully second time round, it's going to be a different story, and uh, the crowd will be on their feet and shouting home their backed horses. So as they cross that finish line, it's going to be 150, hoping to do it second time around. Ortiel back in second, Dairy House, then we can find Sinatra, Funder, Starboard Bound further back, two miles of the pink silks, but further back, and then looking stellar is going to be at the back. So at this stage, it's going to be 150, who is in front. 152 seconds this season so far. Then Ortiel, you can find back in second. Also placed two times, two thirds. Dairy House back in third. Dairy House needs to prove himself here today. Hasn't been in the money as yet. Then you can find a starboard bound. Two fourths in his form line. And then further back, you can find Funder. Looking stellar. Good winner last time out for the Leon von Rensburg charge. And Sinatra at the back at this stage. Moliet Surfer obviously looks the one they all have to beat on paper. Also rated the highest at 116. And uh, Sinatra is causing himself a lot of issues because he's at the back and making life difficult for himself. But it is 150 who's in front by about. Make it six lanes. Back in second, Dairy House, Ortiel. Then you can find Funder, two miles. Sint now Sinatra just getting a few niggles now and getting back into the thick of things in that backpack. And looking stellar now has been dropped to the back at anchor. And Starboard Pound is going to be second to last. As they travel down to that five and a half, it's going to be 150. We're still in front by about five lengths now. We're starting to close the deficit. It's going to be Funder. Ortiel also getting a few niggles now. Getting a few backhanders. And with a stride or two looking very comfortable on the bridle. It's going to be Sinatra. who's came from the back now. And he's suddenly in a striking position. As they corner in for home. Four furlongs left to go. Two miles further back in the field. Looking Stella and Starboard. But I'm just going to do a lot. It's going to need to do a lot to win from there. So it's going to be three and a half. 150. How much does he have left in the tank? Funder back in second. Then you can find Derry House and Sinatra. Ortiel and then looking stellar two miles starboard bound is going to need to do a lot he's out of the contest at this stage two and a half to go 150 is under the right hand whip now and he's been produced so, um, Funder is back in second uh, Sinatra still have, looks to have a lot of claim in him and then further back Derry House is going to need to kick Ortiel looks beat at this stage with two miles and a long way back to starboard bound so they into the final furlong it's going to be 150 still leading it from start to finish he's looking for the Sagaro stakes and it's 150. He's doing it at this stage. He's now been caught by Funder, who's starting to lunge late. And Sinatra is also coming on at the back. But it's going to be 150. He's going to take out the Cigarro Stakes from start to finish. 150 wins here for Stephen Ran. He wins a good race. 92, 7 to 1. Funder second. And the favourite Sinatra back in third. And Stephen Ran has. Has one year on 150 and he'll take out the Cigarish stakes. Funder second, Sinatra third, Ortia looking stellar. The rest were beat.